Hello friends. Today I thought I'd do the Q-tip flower painting with you. So some of the items that we need for today's project are some Q-tips, a rubber band, paper, paint, any kind of paint. So you could use acrylic, you could use tempura, finger paint, green crayon. It doesn't matter what color green. I happen to have a lighter and a darker green. You need a dish or a bowl, something to put your paint in. One extra item, if you want, is a paintbrush. And then another extra item would be tape. Any kind of tape will do. So you can put your paper either horizontally or vertically. Doesn't matter which way. Um, I'm gonna put mine horizontally. I use tape for my younger children at home. Um, it helps them keep the paper in one spot and I usually will do generally just two corners one on either end and that generally helps them out a little bit then you're gonna take your q-tips put them in a group together and then you're gonna wrap your rubber band so they're nice and snug and tight together so they're not falling out like that and then you can decide what color crayon you're gonna use if it's gonna be a dark green or a light green and then you take your crayon and you can draw your stem. You can draw it as tall, as little as you like. You can even draw some leaves. You can do your leaves nice and simple or you can try and make them fancier. You can use a lighter color and make it a smaller one with some leaves. And if you would like, you can even use green paint. And if you don't have green paint, you can combine some colors to make your green. And you can paint the stem. And then you can paint your leaf. Doesn't really matter how it goes. It doesn't matter how big, how small. You just wanna have some fun using some paint. And then you can choose what color you like your flower to be. I'm gonna start off with some blue. So you wanna hold your Q-tips like you would if you were grabbing a pom-pom or holding a pencil, like so. And then you're gonna dab it into paint just so your Q-tips are covered. And then you're gonna go up and down all around your stem until you have your flower made. And you can make your flower as big or as little as you'd like. And if you want, you can even mix colors and you can create a different color flower if you want. So I have some red and yellow here that I've mixed up a little bit to make kind of an orangey color. I'm gonna take it. I just flipped over the Q-tips to the other side and I'm just gonna go again up and down and I'm just gonna Make another little flower with my Q-tips. And there you have it. That is our Q-tip flower project. I hope you had fun, I did.